keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas Hey everyone and welcome back to the most exciting video of the entire year So exciting, look started to melt but I've got myself a lovely hot chocolate with a little gingerbread man he's melting into the snow I know it is super super early guys for a Christmas tree video but I really wanted to give you time to decorate your tree to go out and get all your decorations and I'll tell you where mine are from as well because all of the goodies in the shops are now out and they sell out so so quickly so it's always best to get your decorations early which is why I'm here to give you some inspiration I'll also link as many things as I can on this tree down below for you guys so I'm not gonna waffle on all I'm gonna say is this year's Christmas tree is a little bit different if you were here on previous years. This year we're going for the very fluffy, snowy effect look, but we're also adding red and we're ditching the blush pink this year. So it's something completely new for me. I'm kind of designing it as I'm going along and I really hope you guys like what I came up with. So guys, you've got to start with the Christmas music. I have got a little bit of Ariana Grande on and me and Lola are dancing away together, listening to her songs. I love her Christmas music. Then it's time to make a beautiful hot chocolate. Cadbury's it is. I've been happier than I have ever been and then we're gonna be adding some cream on there. When I say cream, I mean a lot of cream. And then some beautiful sprinkles and a little cute wafer as well. You all know it would be a crime to not have some chocolates as well and to pop on a fresh pair of slippers. So to start with, I'm gonna show you all the decorations I've got. So I've got feather boas, lots of white frosted glass baubles. These are all from the range or Matalan home. And then also some beautiful reds and wine reds, which is so new for me this year. Some berries as well, and some eucalyptus leaves as well. And some big poncietra, I think they're called flowers in red and also in white. So guys, a top tip of mine is to bend the branches in lots of different directions. I'm bending some upwards, down, to the side. This just adds so much texture to the tree and fluffs it out and makes it look a lot more real. And just like that, the lights are on the tree. I wish, it's such a tedious task, isn't it guys, adding lights to a tree. I'm now adding the feather boas to a tree. If you've not used these before instead of tinsel, I highly recommend. They're just the most beautiful thing to add to a tree. They're so dreamy, they're so fluffy, and they work amazingly on a flocked tree like this with the fake snow. It just really bulks out the tree and it also helps to fill in any patches, especially on fake trees like this. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep these are from a local garden centre and I pop these in the tree and then I try and get them to fade down the tree, almost like a waterfall, and I spread them apart until they look perfect. It just adds more dimension, more texture, and they're so glittery, they just catch the light and look stunning. These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill these are white eucalyptus from the range and these were so inexpensive. I'm popping these at the top of the tree. You could add these all the way down. It's basically to add the effect of almost extra branches. Again, it just helps to add that texture, that dimension, just to make your tree a lot more out there and extravagant than just a standard tree. So I'm just focusing these at the top of the tree because I only had four of them. These red frosted berries are from the range again and I'm going to be using these much like the eucalyptus but I'm going to be spreading these throughout the whole tree just to again add more texture and dimension. Sometimes I'm adding them to the sides to add almost branches and then other ones I'm adding into the middle of the tree and you'll see that I'm kind of bending them to shape just so they fit the tree nicely just to add a little bit more colour, texture. I keep repeating myself so I'm sorry. These are also from the range. I'm probably gonna butcher this, guys, but I think they're called Ponciettas. So I'm putting these into the tree. I think I got about five of these. I got some red ones as well, which you'll see shortly. And I got the red ones online, which I'll link down below for you. 
you can see I'm just threading them into the tree because these are actually flower arrangement flowers. So you can literally find any flowers you like and just shove them in the tree and move them around until they look perfect. You close, forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. These large glass burgundy baubles are from the range. I'm just scattering these around the tree. Then the next baubles here are also from the range. And again, I'm just doing the same. I was trying to balance them between the top and the bottom, just scattering them around the entire tree. And to see you again, baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. These again are from the range. So what I'm gonna do guys is stop saying where they're from because everything going forward is from the range and then a few are from Matalan, but the majority of these are from the range and I got them this year. So as you can see, I've now gone to white and glass baubles and I'm just scattering them along the tree, trying to balance them between the top and the bottom, covering them evenly all over. And I did this for a little bit of time and then I went on to the reds again. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough white and clear glass baubles on the tree as well. I didn't want to oversaturate the tree with too much red. P.S. guys, ignore the little hole in my joggers. The stitching has come undone, so you can see my bodysuit throughout. So I do apologize, I didn't notice until I started editing the video. Now I'm adding the medium size red baubles on the tree and again I'm scattering these amongst the top and the bottom just all over the tree trying to keep it as even as possible. And now I'm onto some smaller baubles. These aren't tiny, but they're just a smaller size. And again, just doing the exact same thing, scattering them along the tree, trying to keep it as even as possible from top to bottom. Let's go outside. Another quick tip, guys, you might see that I'm wrapping the bauble around the branch a couple of times. This shortens the string because I like to hide all the string. I feel like they sit a lot better like this. I then found these baubles that I had from last year and again just doing the exact same thing I really like the fact these were a matte and I really like to add matte baubles but also glittery baubles to the tree just to add different sort of looks now these are from the range these are beautiful ice drop effect glass decorations and I'm just scratching them again on the tree I only got four of these could have done with some more actually then I'm adding these little birdies I got from Tesco's last year these are so cute and I'm focusing these more towards the middle and the top of the tree I absolutely love them and then I had a cute little snowflake as well which I popped at the top because I felt like the top of the tree was a little bit neglected so I wanted to add something something these are from the range they're cute little red baubles and I focused these on the top again and then these are also from the range from last 
last year and I was just clipping these to the middle section of the tree just anywhere that was empty and now I'm adding on the tree topper which is from B&M and it kept falling off I really struggled with this but we got there eventually look I'm so happy <laughs> This tree skirt isn't actually a tree skirt, it's just a faux rug from eBay, it was about £10, just popping this at the bottom of the tree, I love the shape of it, it just kind of makes it look a little bit more like snow. And then here is the finished tree guys, I really hope you like it, I do show the tree in a couple of different lightings, so keep watching to see it in with the lights off, and then also I added some roses which I didn't show in this vlog, which again I'll show you towards the later part of this video. Let me give you a Christmas moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I really wanted to get Lola's reaction and this is what she did. First off, she was okay. And then off camera, guys, she took the tree skirt and ran her off with it and then started chewing the feathers. So can't trust her around the tree. Gonna have to be very careful with this little madam. <laughs> and here is the tree with the lights off. I think it's so cute, so cozy, so homely. I absolutely love it with the lights off. And you can also see that I've added roses on here, which are from Amazon. So everyone, that is the end of my Christmas tree video 2020. I can't believe it is over already. I'm gonna enjoy my melting hot chocolate now. Can't wait to have it. First, like proper hot chocolate with cream and all the toppings in literally about a year, I wanna say. So really looking forward to it. I really hope this gave you some inspiration, guys. And if you do anything similar to my tree, I would love for you to tag me on Instagram. It's at hazeldex. I would love to see what you come up with. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.